You better turn up. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew and in this video, I'm gonna make some changes to my desktop PC. A while ago, I started having some problems with my computer. First, the power supply has died. And also, I have a small problems with overheating. But now, we're gonna fix all of this. Well, I will start with disassembling. And while that, I will tell a few more words. I built this computer about two years ago. Not at once, but in a period of a few months. First, I bought the motherboard, the CPU and the cooling. Then the next month, I bought the RAM and the SSDs. And the last thing was the GPU. The PC case was from my previous build. And the power supply is more than 6 years old. The power supply I used it when I had IMD build. Then I used it in my second build with Intel i5 4th generation. And I used it again in this third build. While ago the power supply has died. The problem was in some capacitors, which I changed it. But I know, this will not be a long term solution. The overheating is coming because of two problems. First, I have a smaller cooling. Actually, when I build this computer, I don't have an out to buy a better one. And the other problem is my small computer case. Most of the time, everything was okay and the computer is working just fine. The overheating was problem when I do some longer renders, I mean more than 5 or 6 hours. Also, this computer is not only to edit YouTube videos. I use this computer to edit much longer and heavier videos, including animations using After Effects and DaVinci. Also working to some other projects, not only by me, also from some other close friends. I'm using laptops more, because it's easier to move around. Right now, I'm using this Alienware 13 inch R2 that I restored last year, and it's still perfect for me. Also the laptops are more power efficient, but when I need some machine for very heavy work, then I need a good desktop. Well, now I will move to cleaning. As you can see, the parts are pretty clean, except the top of the motherboard. I can't really reach the place to clean it better. But I always maintain my computer, no matter if it's in use or not. I clean the computer once in a week from dust, and I change the thermal paste and in deep cleaning once in 6 to 8 months. Now let's move to the upgrade parts. And the first is the PC case. I bought Cooler Master Master Frame 700. This is a highly customizable full tower and very heavy case. The weight is more than 12 kilograms or more than 26 pounds. Actually, I didn't plan to buy something like this, but I got it at a very good price off. I got a price off because this case was displayed in a store. Everybody just touch it, but nobody wants to build something. The assembly of the case is super easy and you can make many different combinations. You can add or remove parts. It's like when you build something from Lego. Especially it's good if you need something where you can easily connect and disconnect hardware, like in my case. And as well, the quality is incomparable with any case. This case is made from 4mm thick steel. It's like armor. And because the whole case is open, the temperatures will be much lower. And for me, it's going to be very easy to clean all parts and keep them like in a new condition. From the other side, the case isn't like some usual case. Because everything is open, it will easier collect dust. And also, making a good cable management, it's way harder. And the thing that I like less is the GPU or the PCI holder. This is not with a good support like in usual PC case. More stress will fall on the PCI Express slot on the motherboard. And to avoid that stress, you need a vertical GPU holder 
or some good and quality GPU support bracket. Well, building the case is done. Now let's place the power supply. The power supply which I'm going to use is made by Gigabyte, 850 watts and with 80 gold standard. The 80 gold standard stands for power efficiency. My current configuration under a full load won't go over 500 watts or maybe 550, but I got a better power supply because I got it way cheaper than usual price. Also, this is a fully modular power supply, which means there is no fixed cables. And benefits of using a good power supply are First, your system will be more stable and safe. And second, it's more power efficient. Well, now let's continue with building the computer. And these are my specs. The motherboard is Gigabyte Z390 Elite. The CPU is Intel i9-9900K. The RAM is 64GB DDR4. The GPU is NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super by MSI. And the storage is 500GB Samsung M2 Pro, which is on the motherboard. It's a very fast and great SSD. And on top of that, I have a two 2.5-inch SSDs, also by Samsung. One is a 2TB, and the other is 1TB. The other upgrade is the cooling. So here I will use NZXT X73. Compared with my previous cooling, the X73 has a larger radiator and three cooling fans. The cooling with a larger radiator will faster cool the liquid and also the CPU. So the benefit here is I can do heavier tasks for a longer period and the noise from the cooling fans will be much lower. So my system will be quieter while using. The next what I use is the GPU bracket. The GPU bracket is to support the GPU weight. My GPU is pretty heavy and there is a big chance of facing with GPU sack, which can result in damaging a PCI Express slot on the motherboard. So if you have some heavy GPU, it's better to put some holder or some other object to prevent this happens. And the last thing is the cable management. Currently, I will go with the cables that I got with the power supply. And I know, 
it will be nicer to go with the custom cables, but for now, I reached the limits on my budget. Also, I can say that the cable management is the hardest thing when you're going to build some computer, and sometimes can take hours and hours to make good cable management, and with custom cables can take even more. After I finish with rebuilding, I cross over one more shining up, I mean removing the fingerprints and the tiny dust all around. And the computer is almost done, but I wasn't satisfied from how the cables are looking. I've tried my best, but the cables are too long to do something perfectly. So to cover some parts, I'm going to use some artificial plants, which left from my previous project. I know this is not a perfect solution, but at least it will cover some parts that are poking my eyes. And as well, my computer will look strange and weird. I mean, it's like a monolith in the jungle. Before I place my computer on the desk, I cross over one more weekly routine, which is cleaning. I mean, cleaning the desk and all other things around. And after making all these changes, this is the final result. So what I wanna hang with my friends, so what I wanna go out again, so what I wanna write you a song, it's not my fault that you can't sing along. I try to keep it cool and be ways, I try to stay away from mistakes. I'm making my way and I'm good on my own, skipping the show cause it's all that I know. And a few more words about my system. So with the changes that I make, I actually do something different to my workspace. And also, I make this computer good to be used in the next couple of years. So personally for me, it will be easier to add some hardware, remove some hardware and maintain my computer. I mean, to clean it. And basically, this is all about my computer. Well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to do some changes with your hardware and make something better. Also, if you like my work, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.